voilà, voilà. I'm on my way to TV and job fair. This is my fit. I'm quite proud of myself because I literally had not planned what to wear at all for this. So the fact that I even pulled this together, I'm just like, Annie, do you know what? Touché, 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 touché. Anyway, I am off to the job fair. I feel quite unprepared, but I'm just gonna see how it is. Um, presenting is something that I'm looking to do more of and maybe like looking at agencies for my poetry and things like that. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna see what we are gonna see. I'm running late, so I need to go, but bye. What up, da? Yeah, update on the London film and TV fair that I went to. Yeah, it was all right. Met a few people, someone around like doing stuff around presenting. Um, also came across like this modeling agency as well. Wasn't there, there for too long and then me and my friend, we just went and got something to eat. So now where I'm at, so basically I've just been looking more at somatics and the power of the body when it comes to healing. And there's an organisation that I'm connected with called Healing Justice. And just the work that I've been doing internally. And also, I've been doing this alongside my book. Because this some of the stuff that I'm doing is also form, formulating exercising and activities within the book. But just exploring my body now. There's someone at the door. Yeah, there was someone at the door who just got parcel from the people. Anyway, yeah. So I've just been looking at somatics and how I can heal... And how actually like your mind, how integrated your mind and body is connected and how I need to explore more and feel more. Anyways, I'm saying that all to say that one of the things that I came across was this embodied rage space. So um, I'm going along to, for the first time, um, and of course I know Healing Justice, I know them through the work that I did at Shake and how it all started and to hear that they've got their own space is amazing it's incredible and it's called the dream space which is like the best name ever anyway I'm going off to the dream space to take part in the embodied rage session and I'm just really curious to see how that's going to be like so I will catch you guys later <laughs> So guys, I went to the dance class and for those of you who don't know, I, when I was younger, I got a bronze award for my street and jazz dance. Hey, I want to get back into dancing, I want to just train myself and get back into dance. It was something that I was so passionate about that I just love. And like every time I see a music video, I'm just there in the background trying to do the dances. So yeah, that type of thing, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I went to bass. And the class was like, anyone can come, but it literally killed me. I was just like, I, I, I need practice because um, it was very fast paced. It really just um, made me realise how much like, it is actually quite good to train my memory because it's just remembering all the different steps and then putting it together and having your body move and flow in a certain way. But yeah, it definitely made me reflect and I am definitely next time picking up a beginner's class. <laughs> Step 
rustus, a hard leaf and a softer leaf. Some of them are a little bit wild, so we can obviously trim things down. We'll do some conditioning as well, so everything fits in, in a nice tight wrap. <laughs> Um, a lot of these issues that go on that are quite unique to these communities working in the sector goes unignored so that's why it's so refreshing to have an organization such as the black wellbeing collective putting something like this on so this is annie post black wellbeing collective event and yeah it was really good like i just felt like i was in this amazing tree house like 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 i say that so many times how else can i say that without saying like though i felt i was in this amazing tree house make it a metaphor yeah doing activities was a great way to just talk with people yeah just our experiences being racialized in this society and whatnot anyway had a really cool goodie bag and i got this mindful coloring book what else can i catch you guys up on so let's talk about being asset based i literally just spent five minutes talking about it and realized that was a recording <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of a complaining culture within the society and i just feel like it seeps with into what into just like my mentality as well i'm just been examining what i internalize and what i pick up from what's around me like i've been doing in my work around asset-based community development for years and it's this whole idea of seeing the strengths and the power and rather than looking at things such as the lack and the deficit it's actually seeing the strengths and where the power lies and where that is within yourself where that is within your surroundings where that is within your mentality so it's just flipping the script really actually having an asset-based mentality helps provide resistance to the status quo and i just feel like when it comes to the content on social media i just see a lot of negative and not that it's bad to talk about negative like i feel like we need balance but the balance is so much on the negative and what's wrong and i just hardly see any content around where where are the possibilities where are the where is the creation where is the vision that we want to be into how where is the power that we can have or where can we seek the power and how can we show up in different ways and ways that we really want to be so that's just one of the things i've been thinking about just having that strength space ide ideology and just looking at where the power can lie can be really supportive in recreating the world around you or recreating how you see things and um yeah i just wish there was more content on that this that's this is just my side ramble but yeah that's just what i want to talk about anyhow yes yes yeah so i have been trying to find a scent for two years now like two whole years i just didn't realize it was going to be that hard just to find a scent for myself i feel like my requirements aren't that big i just want one that smells like out of this world and like when i come in a room the whole room smells of it i think i'm starting to realize on my scent journey that maybe i'm more of a gourmand type of person gourmand is for those who like more sweeter scents i've just been on a journey trying to find a scent and i came across this scent making class so i'm gonna head over there with my girl and i'm gonna see if i'm gonna be able to actually get a scent i'm gonna be making my own scent so now there's no excuses i'm gonna be putting ingredients in and i'm actually really excited looking forward to it and um we get a free goodie bag as well which is always great so see you guys in a bit <laughs> I just wanna know if you're 